All right, I'm back here at the cabin, and uh, I want to finish framing up the uh, kitchenette frame here, so I can get uh, at least the bottom shelf in. Got the bottom shelf right here. I wasn't able to get the uh, countertop ready in time for this trip, but uh, I should have it ready for my next trip. But uh, I need to finish framing it up with these cross braces and then I will be able to get at least the bottom shelf in. And uh, I also, I got these shelves in over here. Let me turn some light on. But uh, that was just a matter of just placing them over here. The uh, bracing was already up, just needed to set them on top. So nothing film worthy of that. But I uh, got those on there and then I just put a bunch of stuff on it. So uh, yeah, that's working out nice. But uh, I need a little bit more prep work before I can get this one on. And hopefully it fits. You know, I made this one back in Utah just based off of measurements that I took and that always makes me a little nervous. But uh, that's what I want to get to. So uh, let's get started. All right, well, another thing that I need to do is I need to get my uh, Woodhaven sign installed somewhere, but uh, there really is not a lot of area for me to hang it. I figure I can put it up here above the light over the window or I can put it over here above the door. That's really about the only two places where I can put it. So I'm gonna let you guys decide. Leave a comment, let me know what you think would be the best location above the light over the window or above the front door. And uh, next time I come out here, that's where I'm gonna mount it. All right, I guess the easiest way to do this would be to flip it on its side. I know I'm six feet across, so I want to put the center one in three feet, let will just double check, six feet, okay, so I'm going to put the first one, just center it right here, and uh, that'll be, yeah, All right, let's flip this up. Let's see what it fits.
All right, that's a pretty good fit, I'd say. It's not perfect, but uh, yeah, it's a lot better than uh, I thought it was going to be. I'll take that. All right, great. Now I've got the bottom shelf, so with that in, I can go ahead and install my top braces. All right, so these I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to put one right here and I'm going to have them flat rather than like this. That way I can attach the uh, the countertop to it and then I'll put one here in the center and then one against this edge as well. And that should leave plenty of room between the center brace and that brace to install the sink because it's it's not that big of a sink. So. Let me get those going. All right, I only have to mark my center point because I'll be going up against the edge on the outside. Okay, just need to flip her around and do the other side. All right, got the bottom shelf in, and the top shelf is ready. I might put another brace here, I don't know. Definitely need to leave this open because that's where the sink's going. But uh, we'll see if I need one. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna need one, but I might uh, put one in there. I can always put it in after the fact as well. But uh, yeah, that's ready to go. And uh, over here, got my hinged one and that works great. And then I've got, you know, these next two shelves in. So all my shelves are in. And uh, I also have this garbage can, which will fit right here under the countertop 
so that'll be a perfect fit. It's nice having a garbage can. I might move I might move the kitchenette over a few inches just to uh, leave a little extra room over here for the ship's ladder. Yeah, that should be plenty of room. So I think that's where I'm going to put it right there. And just for kicks, let's see how close to level we are. That's not bad. I'll take that. Alright, there's one last thing that I need to do. Now that I've got a top on my uh, battery compartment, I need to install a couple of vents. And uh, I do have two vents that are, are you know, vent screens left over from my uh, solar generator build. So I'm going to use these, I'm going to put a vent on either end near the top because hot air rises and I know that the uh, battery box that's in here has a fan on both ends. It pulls from one end, blows it across the components and comes out the other end. So to help facilitate that, I'm going to do the same thing with my vents. Alright, I got my two uh, vents installed here, so uh, that should provide plenty of airflow inside uh, the battery box. Um, I did have to drill a hole in the corner there so that I could get my uh, solar wiring through. And uh, of course I forgot my battery operated shop vac, so that's going to have to just stay there until uh, I come back and bring the uh, shop vac. Um, I was able to get that bottom shelf in. Pretty good fit. And I look forward to uh, coming back and installing the uh, countertop. So that's going to do it for this video. So I'll talk to you guys later.